Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Melgucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. And uh, we're playing again uh, Black White Auras. Uh, yesterday's deck performed so, so much well. We went to uh, Thane and 3. Um, yeah, and uh, the deck is really good. Um, the, the gameplay of this deck is... You have very few creatures. You have Core Spirit Dancers, Ram, which are your main uh, reasons to keep a hand or mulligan. Basically, like you have to just aggressively mulligan if you don't have those pieces. Sometimes you can think of that like you are in a you know combo matchup. You have thought seize, you might keep, but yeah, generally speaking, you want to just mulligan to have these cards. Um, again, just don't mulligan. Don't be afraid to mulligan to four or stuff like that because it will you will just get your cards back if you have a good end very very easily with those two engines and the draw you cards. The rest of the deck is basically ours. Very important are Kaya's Ghost Form and Demonic Vigor. Those are really, really good. Um, the sideboard is that we have Dead Weight to replace some of those Kaya's Ghost Form and Demonic Vigor in the aggro matchup. We have some Duress, some more Hateful Idol to draw cards against Control. And that Punishment is mostly for the Mirror, since this is the only way you can deal with a Core Spirit Dancer. Because you can't put a Dead Weight on a Core Spirit Dancer, funnily enough, because it says Whenever Enchanted gets plus 2, plus 2, so it just goes even. And yeah, the deck is black and white, playing one Secret Foundry for the Claim of Fame side of fame. It's pretty free, it's just, you know, two life, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I mean, the deck is pretty straightforward. Again, I did very well with it yesterday. Now it's the 1st of April. Um, opponent goes first, and they're mulliganed. We might keep based on the fact that this is a pretty strong hand if it's not for Core Spirit Dancer. But as I said, you don't be afraid of mulliganing with this deck. You, you, you aren't afraid of mulliganing with this deck. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'll bottom. <clears throat> it's either uh, Glitter or one of these two. I think it'll be one of these two. Yeah, I'll just go with Kaz Ghost. I'll play four of that and what two of this. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, Mountain, sweet. Dirk Prospector, okay. Mm, I'll just kick things off with a thought seize. Okay, I'll take a Moxus. I have cut one uh, uh, Hushbringer since yesterday from the sideboard. I said I was playing with two Hushbringers. Alright, here we have Zram into couple of R's the, the following turn. As long as my opponent doesn't have a... Uh, I don't even know what. Crater Maker? Yeah. Alright, uh, let's go. Let's start with a Demonic Vigor. If I draw one mana aura, I might play that one. Instead. And I'll play all the Glitters. Then I'll talk for six. Or rather five. The good thing of playing this deck is that you don't have to count in paper when you play uh, Ethereal Armor. You have to count all the time with all the glitters and such in your real life. Which is... All right, anyway, they go Cranko here, which is, which is not bad. Cranko is, is very good at blocking this, unless I find the... Whoa, that's a great draw. I was thinking about flying the, the thing that flies, but no, this is probably better. So I can go Spirit Dancer and Myers Grasp on the mob boss, draw two cards. And then I draw two cards and later... When I'll draw an aura, I can put it in here, since the Spirit Dancer ooh, grows way more. Uh, yeah, Sejiri Shelter might mean that I can just one-shoot them here. Maybe not now, but later. Unfortunately, my hand is not very good, but that's okay. Alright, thankfully they didn't find any... Uh, thankfully they didn't find any boxes, or they could have cast it with defeat. Uh, yeah, let's just attack with this ram. See if the chum block. And I'll just get back. Uh, I guess I'll play a swamp and get back Lurs. Lurs does nothing right now. I guess I can bring back a Mars Grass next turn to a lethal. Nope, sure. Probably War Chief. Okay, so they got a bunch of chum blockers, but we have Sejiri Shelter to protect from red this ram, so that should be game. Opponent didn't really do much. I guess I guess that's not true. They did do. They they were going to play Moxis on turn three here. I just stopped there. 
with the thought sees. Okay, thought sees their muxus and their deck just fell to, fell to part. Fell to part. Good game. All right, in the sideboard we have we have um uh three copies of Ashbringer, four copies of Dead Weight. How his fly is good when you have all that dead weight. Uh, main pirate health punishment is also fine. Usually, I tend to whenever playing whenever bringing the dead weight package, I tend to board out the ghost form package. Let me see how much is this. Sixty four. All right. Um, what else is to cut? Probably some creatures because I brought in three ash bringer, three eight flatulent. That's a nombo though, because normally. This doesn't happen. You don't have Ushbringer and Eightful Eidolon. I guess when that happens, it can't really happen, right? Although Ushbringer is that good, I probably don't care. Maybe I shouldn't have all these Eidolon. I think that's too many. I got some Olda Glitters. I, I usually catch Olda Glitters whenever I... Olda Glitters I usually cut against Control. Against Go Goblins is a weird deck because it's both an aggro and a combo deck, so... It's really oh actually I can cut claim they don't really kill my stuff yeah probably I can cut claim yeah I was just probably just bring in one more glitters and go some glue 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 that's my water water flow. All right we got the spirit danza let's keep let's keep. They might have what Goblin Crater Maker, the Gem Pump Incinerator, a Braid maybe. Yeah, that's a good start. Widely on turn two. I'll play four. My opponent is playing the Turbo version, so they might just go Cranko now. Sorry, Cranko Moxes now. You know, there's not really much you can do about those those draws they have. I mean, there is Thought Seize, but I don't have it. All right, um, I think I'll begin with, uh, so I either, I either, I guess, I guess it, all right, uh, let's start with a cartouche here. Yeah, because I could draw an, an Ashbringer off of this. I want to give myself the option to top deck Ashbringer, which is the best card. And I think I actually want to play uh, Helios Punishment. Remember, Helios Punishment says, loses all the ability, which is pretty good on a Goblin Chieftain. It means that the Goblins aren't hasty anymore. I'm also attacking here, probably. Yeah, I have to set that in. Remember that I have an Angelic Gift, which gives this flying. Could be lethal in a couple of turns. Alright, so they have mana to cast. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, they have mana to cast Moxus, and I can't do anything about it. But hopefully they break. Or just they don't have Moxus. Sometimes it happens. I guess with the Mulligans, it doesn't happen that often. Alright. I think this is not lethal yet. I can block this, and that's eight damage only. All right, let's see if we can do something uh, annoying here. Hmm, maybe not. Uh, all right, let's just do this. Maybe if I draw a of orders in a row, ah, that's another land. I have another draw step here. It is punishment. All right, this is it. They even have Cranko to, um, with Chieftain, so I can't do anything about those. All right, good game. Let's go to game three. Hmm, maybe Hateful Idol one isn't good. Maybe I do need all the glitters after all. Cause you gotta kill your opponent fast, right? All right, that's it. That's my sideboarding. Go to game three. Bonjour, no chat. Bonjour, no to the Todo el mundo. Radiologic says I miss your vintage games. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played vintage. Honestly, I love vintage because I got to play with like old cards that I, again, like part of the history of magic that I never felt because, you know, I started magic later. But since I discovered old school, I kind of left vintage apart. Because after all, like, yeah, old school is just more of that story of the game. And uh, I, yeah, I just really like the the aspect of just you know living a world that I've never even come close to live because you know I was born in '93, so when Magic was born, so I play way I play a lot of uh, uh 
old school and pre-modern over camera. I just to revive those days that I've never lived, which I enjoy. Vintage is, I don't know, more, less of that to me. I will bring, I will keep this hand. We got, basically it's a multi five, but you can think that we're post cyborg. So people just have a braids, have crowd maker to deal with your SRAM. Yeah, Cage is not bad against this deck. It stops also Kaya's Ghost form and it stops uh, Sentinel's eyes. All right, Punas unfortunately doesn't kill Zram. I mean, it's not that bad. That's that's okay. All right, remember, this is Legendary, so you don't want to cast another. Uh, let's start with the Cartouche. And then I'll go... Oh, I was going to go Sentinel's eyes, but I guess I'm going instead uh, all that glitters. This just beats for one more right now. Oh, Ashbringer. That's an amazing draw. Next turn, I'm going Ashbringer, save it with uh, Sentinel's Eyes, so it plays around uh, Crater Maker, and I think they don't have a, a Braid, because they would have cast it already, so it should be very good here. We'll, we'll see what I do with my fourth land. Wow, they get Skirk Prospector. That's wild. Okay. Hmm. Um, sure, I'll begin with Ashbringer. They can have mana to cast a braid, but then again, they didn't have it last turn, I'm pretty sure, so. I'll do this here. And draw a card. Totsies, wow. That's just great. Uh, we want to Totsies now. Yeah, why not? What's what's wrong with Totsiesing now? I could Totsies post combat. Alright, let's see their hand. Shadows go smashing they have. Oh wow, that's definitely the card I'm taking here. So Cranko Yeah. So Cranko does uh, stop uh the ground, but it takes a while. Shadows go smashing can kill my Ushbringer by four that's seven mana. I can kill my Ushbringer. I think I'm taking Shadows Go Smashing. Yep. And I'll attack with these. Yeah, Kranka stops the board, but I can go I can go on top with Ashbringer. Although I do need Auras. Okay, so that's fourth land. That's a braid from the top. Oof, that's a good draw. How many cards are in my graveyard? Three. Okay, so I can flash back the Sentinel's eyes. Oh yeah, yeah, this could be tough now. I didn't take the, <laughs> not taking the, not taking the, the, the Mooxes. I guess it's not that bad because they have another Mooxes over here. Right, so let's just, um, maybe I want to diversify my threat, right? Yeah, so let's put the Sentinel's Eyes over here. One sec, can they play Mooxes next turn? Definitely they can. Yeah, so I don't have time to go Lurus and bring back the Ashbringer. Basically, I just need to top deck another Ashbringer now, because Totsis doesn't even work. Deadweight. Wait, Deadweight is amazing. I can't kill the Scare Prospector. And they can't cast Moxes anymore. Do I want to cast it now? Honestly, I don't think so. Honestly, I don't think so. I want to make them like Chum Block. First. Oh, another dead weight. Nice. Okay, I guess I'll play one dead weight on the Scar Prospector. Oh, what a good deck. Okay. E I just cast another one, right? Just another one here. Thought Seize, nice. They have a Moxus on top, so I'm not gonna Thought Seize the, 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 the Moxus. Okay, let's attack first. And then I'll Thought Seize the Krenko, so they have nothing next turn. They have only four lands here. They just took the damage. Then I'll go land, Thought Seize, and this card Krenko. Then I'll pass, they have four lands. Two Moxus. I even drew Ashbringer. That's really nice. But I don't think they'd ask. I guess they could have drawn the Iron Kirk feet. It's the third time you said good game on point. I'm not gonna say you good game. Just play this game. Alright. 
Good game. Actually, good game. All right, that's the first win for this new month. And this was actually intricate. Intricate game. We did draw very well from that starting hand, but that's what happens when your deck draws so many cards. You, just, you know, you draw your cards. You draw your sideboard. Just play standard if you're a new guy and want to play budget deck. You better play standard. You gotta get a budget, better budget deck in standard. All right. Uh, this is a mulligan to six already. Opponent's playing Lurus, so I'm assuming it's the mirror. Hey, I'm assuming this is just another mod, another mulligan. So we got a five here. All right, we keep this. Um, I think I want to do something like this. Myers Grasp is good against Rams and against uh, the the Eightful Eightful Eidolon. Uh, actually, I mean Myers Grasp also kills Lurs, which eventually comes down. And I don't play any, I don't play any dead weights. Have I quit drafting on stream? That's a good question. I basically had, um, it's because I used to draft a lot when I was just playing Magic for fun. Uh, although now Magic, uh, the organized play of Magic, they just made so many events in a row. Professional events, I mean. That I just have to keep on practicing every day. You know, before it wasn't like this. We used to have like a month infra, 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 infra matches. Now it's just barely a week, so... I have uh, a lot of events to prepare for, and uh, you know, not not that much time to play other for fun magic. I already play for fun magic in my private times on stream. I have to just play the competitive events, the uh, competitive formats. All right, so in the mirror match, I want these cards. Um, I'm sure if I want dead weight, I uh, definitely want duresses because don't with the duress is important. It. It answers Zeliot's punishment, which is your best card. And once again, I'll cut the Kaya's Ghost form and Demonic Vigor. What else do I want to cut? Maybe Claim isn't that good because the thing is that the creature dies. I'm actually, I actually love maybe a couple of this. Is all the glitters good? It probably is very good. Yeah. Mm, let's try this side boarding. We need competitive draft events, that's what you're saying. Sure, but not together with standard and historic. That would be just, I think, a little bit too much formats. If they, like, like back in the day, Pro Magic was used to be like one PT every three months, and it used to be one constructed format and one limited format. Now they have competitive events literally every if every other week, which makes it just hard for uh, you know competitive play pro players to focus on three formats at the same time. Unless you just you know, the, 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 all everything depends how you play. If you play for fun, sure, but if you try and be competitive, focusing on three formats is 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 a lot. Is a lot, and a lot of people can't do it, or rather can't do it perfectly. That's that's what I'm saying. All right, so this is a keep. I, I don't mind uh, playing limited. I, I think the problem that OP has right now is that they have only one league. You know, they are, there's like they don't have incentives for everyone to play, just for like the seventy people involved. And they make them play. You know, literally every other week. It means a lot to the players in the league, but it doesn't mean anything for other players. You know, other players, it isn't a GP. You don't have a tangible value. Like, we're playing for a lot, but it's just points that other people don't even understand. So, it's just, it's just, I think everything is just probably wrong. But, oh wow, they're doing the Deadweight thing. It's not, not gonna happen. Nothing happens here. Because Deadweight says minus two minus two. Of course, Beard Dancer says plus two plus two when attached. That's also why, why the reason why I didn't do that. But, at least they can't, they can't trip. It's not that bad. Okay, the gold, the glitters. At least, you know, the Deadweight on my side matters here. Okay, I'll uh, take a draw. Pot seize. I think I want to thought seize them. That's ah, difficult now. I think I'm taking Spirit Dancer. I don't think I'm winning this game. I'll take Spirit Dancer, and I think I have to fragmentize the old Dug layers. Uh, because that all the glitters is just a lot of damage in my opinion. 
all the glitters is, uh, you know, with all of these in their hand. But I think I had to take Corsair Dancer, because every, every, every cantrip here would have matter as two. And now if I top deck the Heliod's Punishment that I have in four copies, they actually find themselves with no creatures. Surely I can get back Lurus eventually, but we have Deadweight for that. Right, so that's six damage coming across. That's good. I mean, that's not good. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Okay, they can trip again. That's fine. I drew a Zram. I go ahead and play. Zram will die to my Myers Grass, but at least I can um, throw my cards. I'll pass. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, chat, chat, chat. Alright, I can now go Mars Grass or oh, the Gold Dug Glitters. Sure. Yeah, it is. Diff this looks difficult. Maybe I can draw Heliot's Punishment to stop the core because that was Punishment says can't attack or block. Alright, I have to Chum Block for sure. <laughs> I'm dead otherwise. I guess I'm Chum Blocking with this. And if I draw an aura, especially as a punishment, I can get back into this game. Oh, wow, I did. All right, do I want to play Spirit Dancer? That will make me draw an additional card. I think it's fine. All right, so the Spirit Dancer is shut off, and I draw three cards. It's shut off only for four turns, though. All right, I'm happy I actually went for the full three cards. I'm attacking with the Senor Zram. Remember, this one cannot attack or block. And I boarded out a bunch of my auras. I brought Kai's Ghost Form and Demonic Vigor. So I have less auras in my deck. Yeah. That's the idea you draw, and you draw a card, because this is no abilities now. It, it removes the ability also to draw a card. Not are all the glitters. Good. Okay. And you attack. Hey, I'm chump blocking with this one. This one will reduce the. Oh no, actually, I'm not chump blocking with this one. I'll make my opponent draw two cards if I chump block with this one. Chump block with the other one. What happens here? I draw thought seeds. That's not very good. I'm not giving up here. I'll uh, just replay Lars and pass. No attack. Yeah, I have to chum block with Lurus. Again, if I chum block with this, I lose, uh, I, I make them draw two cards. Hello, Conch. No, I didn't like the Niv-Mizza deck that I played at the PT. I just, yeah, there's just a million top land and I don't know. All right. I played a lot of niv it, but I think that without, it was, I think Ur is a, like, Niv Mizza was secretly like an order deck, in my opinion. Yeah, Kyori over here, he is the Niv Mizza master. Yeah, yeah, Kyori. Especially now, right? People want to make the fast run. This deck is good and fast, so definitely a good choice for the like day one. Alright, um. Huh. I do think that Climb of Fame is fine in the cyber, because like the main re removal spell is a uh, Leot Punishment. I guess it's not bad if they uh the dead weight your ram, right? Honestly I just don't love dead weight to Margaras. Like they're fine, but uh yeah, I prefer I prefer to just stay light. I don't wanna over overdraw these. Alright, that's a that's a keep of course. Conceal courtyard comes here to play top to, as the fourth land, so you have to um, yeah, just, just play this only as a second and the third land. Don't play them later than that. Ah, yeah, yeah, I know my Spirit Dancer goes and... Oh, that's so lucky. Alright, let's hope they don't have a... Oof, that's so lucky. Let's hope they don't have a Elios Punishment here. That would be punishing. Mm, I might go Sentinel's Eyes and just hope, or I can go Lurs. 
So going Lars makes you more mind efficient. I think that's actually what I'm doing. They've already played two Totsies. I'm not expecting them to have more Totsies. And if I go Sentinel's Eyes, draw land, that's just a disaster. I just waste my, my three mana. And I tap for like three, so it's not even that much. All right. I was punish was my draw. Um, mm -mm. I probably just don't care about this hateful idol in here. If my opponent attacks me, it's going to be fine. I need to keep Elias punishment for our core spirit dancer. I just go. Yeah, going. Actually, the going lures go. It's also weird because you go with lures go and you and you give them the option to just play like a dead wave or. Or, or a thing like that, and even draw a card off of it. So I guess I'm playing this. Yeah. Well, let's, let's see. Next turn I can go Lures, all that glitters. Depends what they have. Let's, let's see what it is. Because they could, have, as, I, as I said, they've showed me a lot of Myers Grasp and Dead Way. They probably play like the PT winner list with a lot of those. Mogus's favor. Sure. Um, like, I could go Sentinel's Eyes and just see what happens, but then I... Nah, I think I just have to do Lurs. All the glitters on Lurs. This way, I protect the Lurs from uh, the various dead weight and, and stuff like that. I'm attacking for less. But I think I just go in the longer game better this way. I think if my opponent doesn't stop the lures, you next turn I just go straight dancer and this sentence as they already had. They have no graveyard, right? Am I right? Yeah, they just have two top seasons. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, let's go Sentinel's eyes on this. Draw a card. All right, good game. Victory. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, all right, this end is locking up a boggle, which means that you have to mulligan. And now we are in the draw. I think I'm going to keep these hand. Oh, bottom of cast goes for him. I think it's more likely that I just draw land in the next two draws than I just mulligan a five and hope and uh, find a better hand. I've never done it before, but there's also the option to just go to discard, discard his ram and thoughts and claim it back. Alright, Skyler Grooves. Sweet. Uh, I just start with a thought seize. They might be playing Bant and I need to discard or explore or growth spiral. Oh, this is the Angel's deck. Huh. The Angel's deck is really good in this matchup. Every time I face the Angel's deck, I, I lose at this creature deck. Alright, uh... <laughs> That's tough now, so I might discard this, because this is a... Ah, uh, yeah, this is this is very bad. I think I discarded Valkyrie. This is just by far the best card of their deck. I play both cons. You can check my list every time you want at exclamation mark deck, or above my head if you have it on top of the GG. Sorry, I meant Carbo Live. All right, so this is Rem. Very lucky to have drawn a land, and now let's see if they have a land too, because they also were in two lands. Alright, they do have two little more land here. Okay. Where's Spirit Danza? Hmm. I don't know if I want to take a turn off by playing core. Yeah, I think it's fine to take a turn off by playing core. Like, this is really good. You know? Because I, I could play like a couple of these, hit a land drop, but... If I don't need that land drop, I'm just pumping up Azram, which isn't even that good. Oh wow, they drew land land. Oh my, it's Toski. <laughs> I don't even have uh, the dead weights in the main, so. Alright, there was a land on top, but that's okay. Um, let's begin with um, Kaya's Ghost form. Toski's indestructible. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good blocker. Yeah. Oh, but for real. <laughs> for real. Toski's a great blocker against me.
Ay, ay, ay. I'm probably just dead on board, right? Nah, I mean, I guess I can, I can draw the protection guy. Oh, angelic gift. Okay, that's great. Um, so, there's no point in attacking because this is indestructible. Uh, I mean, this is vigilance. I guess I'm attacking like this, right? Because <laughs> I have to block this, and then I have the, the, the court to block it back. So, yeah, I'll deal two damage this way. Uh, seven cards in it, so no discard. And I pass. Now, Trotsky has to attack next turn. Yeah, maybe with this angelic gift, we can steal a game. I have um, only one aura for now. I mean, other than angelic gift. Well, Warden. They have to go to 27 to pump their team. Oh, Sky Cleave. All right, I do have Kaya's Guile, thankfully. Kaya's Ghost Form, sorry. So, oh, but still too hard. Oh, wow, I don't... I didn't know this. You don't give the token. All right, that's uh, that's the thing I've learned. You don't give them the token. Sorry, you don't get the, the illusion token. Not that I thought I would, but I thought that there was a you know X equal two under the sky cleave. But since the creature just honestly don't know what happened, but I still need to know. All right, point is on twenty one. I <laughs> have not enough lands to do much, but I guess something could happen. It's not over, right? It's not over yet. It's not over yet. I want to think like that. All right. Um, let's go Angelic Gift on the core. Angelic Gift. The blocks a flyer too now. Draw another card. Then I want to go uh, send in those eyes. That gives vigilance, so we're good. Ooh, Thoughtseize. All right, I've already made my land drop. I either play Kaya's Ghost Form or I play Thoughtseize. Mm. So, uh, Core Spirit Dancer blocks whatever the bigger creature is, probably this. Zram blocks this, and I have five damage on board. So I can go to six, technically. Huh? Maybe. Maybe, maybe that's better. I can go to six, technically. This one doesn't do anything, right? It just gains life. Ooh, I guess them gaining life puts them on. Oh. Puts them on a threshold that's too high, maybe? We will see. So they can gain 5 up to 21. That's not too much. That's okay. That's still fine. I don't die here. I have two blocks, so I got exactly one. Oh, they drew company. <laughs> Final energy Valkyrie. How much do you gain? You gain too much? No, no, you don't gain too much. So I'm not dead. They do make an angel. I think it's pretty hard for me to win, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Why not kill the Tusky? I don't. Then I don't have to stop their draw engine. I have to. I have to make a plan to win this game. I think. I was blocking the wrong one. We block this and that. Yeah. All right. I mean, I have a, a Course Spirit Dancer and... Um, I don't have the protection card. <laughs> that will probably require too much. Yeah. Grasp Tusky. I'm not losing to Tusky. You guys don't understand. You don't see this board state? Tusky is just like... <laughs> All right. Um... I doubt 41. There's no way. I mean, I played this game yesterday. This was one of the few matchups I lost. A lot yesterday. I lost to Green White Angels and uh, Red Lake Arcanist. I, I won every other matchup, but yeah, those two matchups are different. The squirrels are powerful. I mean, sure, a squirrel was good in the early game, but you know, main problem is that their deck gains a lot of life. A lot. Mm, no, Fermentize is not good. So I'll cut the Hateful Idol in, in this matchup. Or no, what am I talking about? Sorry. Uh, sorry, I just... I, my thought process was I have Hateful Idol is good because you have Deadweight and Myers Grasp in this matchup. 
Again, I'm cutting probably Demonic Vigor and Kaya's Ghost form. I'm sideboarding these guys a lot out, but I think these are very good against Gen Sacrifice. Or at least, I think they're good against Gen Sacrifice. You guys want Ashbringer in this matchup. So Ashbringer stops, uh, Skakliv Apparition reaches Valkyrie, Youthful Valkyrie, Bishop of the Wings. Yeah, that sounds a lot. Um, there is a Nambo Ashbringer Hateful Idolin. Once again, that is happening, huh? Chris, what did you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, this does seem like a pretty terrible matchup. But again, all right. Once again, I board out Claim of Fame. And finally, maybe I'm boarding out Angelic Gift. So I have the big Nambo of Ashbringer Hateful Idolin again. I think twice a big Nambo, it can't be right. I'm just wondering if Tokatli is better at this point. It's the second time that has happened. David, you can find all my decks at exclamation mark deck. Or exclamation mark decks. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. I have the A Flight Alone plus Monograph combo. Yeah, my other is goblins. Oh, I just didn't notice I don't have the mana. Oh, this end wasn't a key. Hopefully, I'll top deck it. Or I top deck his rim. Sometimes you just keep very bad hands and you get lucky. I mean, that's kind of a uh, game of magic. And the, the, the cool thing of these games is that you even justify your keeps. Oh, I kept an awful hand, but it worked out, so it was a right choice. Okay, cool. Um, mm -mm. what am I doing here? It's pretty awkward because I even go if I go thought since I'm wasting my two mana. Probably should just go eight full idol and go here, hoping they play a creature so that I can play Mars Rust on that draw a card. Too big. My draws have been insane right now. Really insane. I think I'll go Thoughtseize. Skycliff, Skycliff, Bishop of the Wings, Rage's Valkyrie. I think I'll take a Rage's Valkyrie here. I'll let him sky cleave my core. Whenever a enchanted creature dies, uh, it exiles it so it doesn't trigger. I will draw a card and make a 2 2 token. And now I just get back Lurs. I might play another Skyclave on the Hateful Eidolon, but that opens my window to just, you know, draw. Oh wow, they drew up another Valkyrie. Real strong. Let's see. I can't go lure Smart's Grass before thought seizing their Skyclave operation. Playing. <sighs> Although, having leaving them with a Bishop of the Wings is also very awkward, because that game ate life. I don't really see a way out. It's pretty crazy how I drew really well, like, really draw very well, and just can't, I can't, I, I'm not coming close to winning this game. All right, I think what I have to do is just hoping my opponent blocks here. If they block, I can go Lurus Mars Grasp, basically trading a Hateful Idol for that. They didn't go Skelly Operation on my Lurus, but at least I, have, I'm, I haven't lost. All right, they didn't do that, so that plan is off. <laughs> I think my line is, uh, Thoughts is your bishop. Because, yeah, I just can't really beat you going to 28, pumping your team forever. Uh, then I go Lures of the Dream, then, and pass. With Ascending his Eyes and 
on this and pass. And again, you kill that, but I give myself the, top, the option to top deck a two mana creature. Yeah. All right. Oh wow, I thought it was a two mana. Actually, this is not bad. All right, let's go all in, right? Shall we? This is a slight link, so. I actually do a lot of damage here. I'm probably just putting one Sentinel's Eyes on this 2 2, two so that one can attack through the operation. It gains me less life, but makes them deal 3 damage, so oh, maybe this all the glitters changed it. Okay, Bishop, so they gain 8, but I've dealt them enough damage that it's not gonna, they're not gonna, their creature's not gonna get pumped. Hmm, hey. all right. Oh, ooh. that's insane. Right? That's my, that must be a crazy good draw. I'll probably put it here. So that I have two real, very large threats. This is lethal. Wow, it's just my two only old egg leaders. This game I've got so lucky. So, so lucky. That's crazy how lucky I got this game. Nice. Wow, it all started by keeping a hand that I shouldn't have kept. Because I didn't see that I didn't have black mana. And it just from there, I just top deck right away every single card. And they also did a very good curve of buffling it into Skycleave into Valkyrie, Valkyrie. That's great. This game has been nice. All right. Um, I stand by sideboarding out Angelic Gift. I think that, yeah, my opponent just... Like, the, the, the reason why this card is in the deck isn't really to block, but to attack through the ground. Uh... Fragmentus can kill a Bafflinga, I don't think that's good enough. Vigor sucks. Maybe Kaya's Ghost from isn't bad. And maybe this card isn't bad. What is bad? What if I board out Thoughtseize in this matchup? Obviously Thoughtseize is a good card. But maybe it doesn't really fit the plane very well. You kind of want to protect their stuff rather than attacking their hand. I did win the game with Thoughtseize, but I'm on the draw. Yeah, let's try to do that. Uh, I guess Ushbringer. Uh, Ushbringer, I like. Maybe Hate Flight on sucks. I did win the game with it because of Lifelink. All right, I'll keep it. Let's go with this. You don't like Dead Weight. Mm. So Dead Weight hits the older 8 1 drop, the, the Priest, and the Sword Warden. It hits Skycleave and it hits Toski. That might be not good enough. All right, this is another weird hand. I'm going to Mulligan this time. Uh, maybe Ushbringer is that good that I keep. Uh, I think I'll ship it. Alright, alright. I'll keep this. Obviously, it's not amazing, but I have to hopefully draw a creature by turn two. I have a lot of creatures post combat. I have up to 14, so that's my plan. Alright. Off again? Okay, sure. The red mana is, I mean, there's only one thing refinery, it's not that there's the red mana. If you have to craft it, don't craft it, but if you have it, I think it's good enough. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll go ahead and kill the Valkyrie. Pretty bad, but uh, yeah, I wish I had an Eightful Idol in the round. Yeah, I might have boarded out the one drops to play around my, my dead weights. Kai's Ghost Room could have been in Thoughtseize. Of course, Thoughtseize would be much better here. Okay. Ooh, whatever it is. We might have a game, maybe? Who knows? I'll play Core Spirit, Danza. And I think I want to just Kai's Ghost Form it. This way I play around the Skycleave Operation. I think Kai's Ghost Form is really good in this match. And then I'll play a top land. You know, it's it's a good land. We know that. But I need I need land drops. My hand is good. I need land drops. So now Kaya's Ghost Form plays around their, you know, their removal. I mean, every removals. And then, and, uh, we'll see. Because they have only Sorcerer Speed removals in Buffling End and, and Skycleave. Or maybe they have that and Skycleave? Wow, that'd be crazy if they actually have that. No, they don't. All right, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know how much damage I have, but this looks like a lot to me.
I'm wondering whether I should go Cartouche or just another all the glitters. I think I'll go Cartouche here. Then attack for 12. They don't have another removal spell, or they would have played it their turn. And they don't play around the top deck removal spell. Because they could have gone Lurus, Ghost for but I don't think that's right. They pump the Angel, C. They make it 4 for end of turn, game 4. So they go up to 20, and I'm dead next turn. Maybe the right play should have been Lurus, Myers, Grasp. Maybe this, that should have been the right play. Maybe I threw it. Alright, um... We definitely have to enchant this hail on. Um, but I guess I want to draw extra cards. They don't... Yeah. How much life do I gain? Hopefully that's enough. Because my opponent has to chum block for sure. So they can't... Yeah, that's good. So I'll just go Zram. All the glitters on the Eidolon. Then I want to put Kaya's Ghost Form somewhere. What do I put Kaya's Ghost Form? On the Spirit Dancer or on the Eidolon? I guess on the Eidolon. And that's enough damage that they have to block somebody. Uh, I'm attacking with everybody. And I go to 13. Very tense game. They might gain five life here with the angel and then four more end of turn. So they might gain nine life again here. They've drawn a lot of lands. They've drawn eight lands here. They play resplendent angel, gain three. But I can't. Oof. Yeah, life, life link is key. That is why we play um, the creature with the, the mouth. What's the name? That's why we play the one two flying. Because that creature is lifelink. They screwed up. I mean, they might have maybe survived again, but our engine was so powerful that I think eventually we take over. Yeah, I think Ashbringer strength is that it is lifelink. And, you know, that strength is probably overcome the Nombo with, uh, with the Eightful Eidolon. Yeah. And very, very good for performance for now. Let's play, let's play one more match. But yeah, so far we're in a 3-0. But every, honestly, just every match felt, felt really good. Okay, so this is one of those hands that doesn't have the Boggle. But I think I'm keeping based on the Eightful Eidolon. I'm not, I don't know if you're supposed to mulligan those kind of hands. Alright, this should mean uh, control to me. Playing with control is fun. Yesterday I played against uh, quite a few control decks and beat them all. Again, my list is very well tuned to play control because I have the money figure and Kaya's Ghost for him. Uh, they have Sensor in their deck, so let's lead on. Uh, I well at the Chapel, Otsis. Alright, they have the combo Absorb, <laughs> Feel the Ruin. I mean, my hand is not great, so I am not very confident in the ability to win this game. I think I'll take Teferi here or the Minera. This is really good against the Boggles. And I'm not... I guess I'm playing Sentinel's Eyes. I mean, if they... I mean, I should have died pre-combat, but... Sure, I think I'll play it. I missed the point of damage. But I have only one white, so... Alright, so here I'll go Land Angelic Gift. Yeah, Kaz Ghost Form is bad against Cage. Flame. Okay, I'll play Idol in here.
Kind of wish they play Sensor. Yeah, I'd rather trade one one for one instead of them drawing. Maybe, you know, I lie in to have a more functional mana. The problem with this game is this string trawler over here. Really the problem with this game. Um, I can either get Becklers or just go more on board with uh, Claim into Sentinel's Eyes. Oh yeah? Yeah, that's true. That's a good point, Luzi. But Luzi made a very good point here. If they have a Graftigger's Cage and they play a Wrath of God, your Kaya's Ghost Form does not return the creature. But um, if you have a, if they have cage in play and uh, they exile your Kaya's ghost form, it does return into play because cage doesn't stop the coming in from the exile zone. Is that right? Um, they can make a token with a castle. I think it's fine if that happens. Back with all. They can make a token and block the one one. Sure. Oh, shark typhoon. That's okay. But they didn't block. Oh, they did block. That's, that was weird. All right, so I draw two cards. I want to draw Thoughtseize to discard a Dream Trawler. All right, now I can go Myers Grasp on this. On this draw card. Zram. Then I can go Zram. Sentinel's Eyes. Where would I put the Sentinel's Eyes on? Hmm. Maybe on uh maybe on this RAM. That's a good point, Chris. Well, probably a little bit too nice, but uh probably a little bit too cute. I think I'll uh, keep this fame in my graveyard. If I draw a mountain, uh, a sacred foundry can't work. Okay, so if they go dream trawler, I just hit this punishment and uh attack for lethal. No, I'm, I don't have lethal though. This is flying, huh? Alright, I have the 6th mana, and they have the Dreamy T. Alright, if I draw an aura, I win here. That yeah, let's draw an aura. Come on, let's draw an aura. That yeah, ready. Ready to top deck? Got top deck here. That yeah. aura. Now, any aura wins the game. No, that's not true. That's not true, not any aura wins the game. Some of the aura wins the game. Even the mountain wins the game. Old that glitters! Whoa, this has been a good game, let me tell you. <sighs> game. Well, I felt like I didn't... I could have mulligan my starting hand. Did this very little. My opponent, like, I got a very screwed mana base, but... Alright, that was, that was a good game. Let's bring in those, those that, um... Fragmentize hits baffling, yeah, which my opponent certainly play. It, it depends on how many dead cards I have. Honestly, I don't have that many card, that many dead cards in my deck. This four are dead cards. I don't want to have any removal spell in my deck. I mean, the rest of the deck is pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, hits how how Ashbringer stops. No, they didn't have anything. I just have Dreamy T. Maybe I'm just playing one else punishment. I, mean, I could have fragmentized for the buffling again. They just turn it one minus three three. But the fact that this card could be dead if they don't draw that, I think it's too scary. Hello, Bruno. Any advice? <laughs> Any advice? That's a pretty broad question. <laughs> it's a scanta. I don't. Know, I don't think a scanta is. Is it a card? Maybe. I mean, opponents playing Absorbed. So it's possible I play an old, an old version. The advice, the, the how to learn to play Magic is usually just, just, just learn the basis of Limited, you know, combat and stuff like that. Starting, starting with, like, an Aura deck, it seems, seems a good place to start. Like, at the end of the day, the plan is pretty straightforward. You just play a creature and suit it up. I don't know if it was better to just lead on Thoughtseize, because now they can go buffling again on the Eightful Idol, and alright, they didn't do that, so... We're good. Now I'm gonna Thoughtseize them. 
Tatsis is mainly hits uh, Nar. Narset is really good against this deck. Okay, uh, either cast out or commit. I think I'm taking cast out. I'm gonna play a cartouche, attack for two. Auras are bad. Yeah, limited auras are in great. Okay, um, I want to diversify my threats probably now. So I just go. Honestly, what if I just go angelic? Uh, angelic gift. Not kind of. ever been it. Let's just go ascend those eyes on this. And attack for four, and then I'll play another hateful idol. This way, a shark typhoon doesn't trade with anything. And even if they commit one of my threats, it's just whatever. Ooh, Doom's car. I draw one. I draw two cards. Not bad. Land? That's weird. I haven't drawn a land. Uh, they also don't have a land. Yeah, I think I'll play this ramp pass and just hope to untap with it. Guess they're on boss form. Yeah. That's a good point. Right, um, I want to start with the Thought Seize to just see if the coast is clear and then just decide based on that. Bring Trawler of Wrath of God. Uh, think I'll take the, uh, Commit. Because I can play around Wrath of God with Kaya's Ghost Form. This card is really good. Duress, that's not bad. If finally I just cast a Sentinel's Eyes from the Graveyard. Desiling, definitely Thought Seize and probably... Oh, actually, no. Run another card. I've already made my land drop, so I just have to pass the turn here. I guess attack, sorry. Yep. Go Wrath of God, that's fine. Oh wow, they didn't do that. What did they draw? I don't know. Let's check what they drew here. Opponent counter and a hateful idol. That would have made me draw two extra cards. But yeah, nonetheless, pretty weird. Jordan Semi. They have Helios Intervention, sure, you can probably, let me see. Hmm. You'll probably keep that. Eh, what else do I want to do? Probably I'll play a Sentinel's Eyes. And attack for four. This has two Sentinel's Eyes and one uh, Kai's Ghost Forum. Like, what did even use her Ellis Intervention on? Sure. Fine. You take three. Eight. A post combat? I mean, I was probably just playing another of these. <laughs> Sweet. Then I'll go Eightful Eidolon this way. Two threats. They, like, exile my Zram with uh, some. I don't know. Alora, Alora, yeah, good game. All right, this is a sweet four road to start uh, the morning with. Again, I've played uh, 18 rounds of Historic so far on the ladder. I've never played against John once. Imagine, imagine that, right? That's so weird. But yeah, the deck is honestly nice. Very, very good.